Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason. This is All Things Random. Today we are talking about possibly the best burning laser per watt per buck. Now, I love doing these review videos where I do something other than watches. Again, please forgive the sound. I'm still soundproofing this room and I'm trying to get rid of some echoes. I have a giant window right here that I'm trying to figure out a way to soundproof. So just bear with me for the next few videos. Now, for those of you who love the watch reviews, I do have my first, my first Casio G-Shock review coming in the next video, which will be in just a few days. This is a watch that I purchased to wear on patrol because I am a police officer. So that I am going to be reviewing and I'm also going to be doing upgrades also to that watch, that Casio G-Shock in a future video. So what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about perhaps the world's strongest laser that is small enough to fit in your pocket. Now I did a review in the past of this bad boy right here. Now yes, I know I should be wearing some safety glasses and when I actually do the review on these on this laser specifically, I will be wearing safety glasses. Now the safety glasses rated for these are gonna be OD4+. Plus. So if you guys are looking, um, please get some on Amazon. They're only like five to 10 bucks. Really, these lasers are strong enough to where if I just shine it in your eye for just a minute, basically, it's gonna blind you. So be very, very conscientious. So basically I did a review on this laser. I will leave a link right up here in a card for this. This was 160 to $180 on Amazon. You can no longer find this on Amazon anywhere. I literally have people message me weekly saying, hey, where can I get this thing? And you just can't. This itself is a class three laser. And this actually, the max output of this, I'm sorry, is five watts. So this is a lot stronger than this, but this is 160 to 180 dollars. We'll just say 180 dollars because it did come with a kit and there are some pros and cons of this. This was 60 bucks. This is a 1.6 watt to 1.8 watt total output. And this thing does burn and it can easily fit into your pocket. It barely fits in my hand. And, uh, um, and as opposed to this, I mean, this is far larger. Yes, it is a five watt laser, but look at the size difference. This also burns, so does this. We'll do sort of a side-by-side -side comparison when I really get down into the nitty gritty. Now, specifically these, let's talk about this real quick and then I'll dive in deep. Now, one of the things that the, now, okay. So first let's start, let's start with this. This is from a Canadian company. This is not a cheap Chinese laser. I say cheap because $180, you know, it's still from China, right? It's from Amazon and you can't get them anymore on Amazon. And you know, it sort of just is what it is. This itself is from a Canadian company. It's very small and the individual who builds these lasers reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to review one of my lasers? And I was like, yeah, I'm absolutely into reviewing anything that burns. What these remind me of is when I was a kid, right, growing up in the early 90s, it was the one thing it was one thing to have a laser pointer it was the coolest thing in the world and you always wanted it to burn stuff and then you could you could get a big one and it could burn stuff and then you could get an even smaller one and still burn stuff with this now i have played around with this thing a little bit it does have a manual adjustable lens right here at the end and we'll get into the pros and cons of that when we dive deeper into it but one of the things that the builder of this laser said that he really wanted me to get through to you guys is the battery that comes in it. This looks like a AA battery. This is not a AA battery. This is a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery that is 14,500 milliamps. So basically, you gotta go to, uh, me and I go to Batteries Plus to specially order these. This is actually, there are pros and cons to this, but it does have a 3.7 volt battery. It is not a 1.5 volt AA. It is a 3.7 volt lithium. It does appear to be the same size, 
but a lot of people, I guess, are buying these for 60 bucks and saying that they don't work because they're putting the wrong batteries into it. Anyway, all that being said, let's just flip the camera to a different angle and let's dive right into this review after I put on my safety glasses. Okay, so now I have this in front of me. You can kind of see just how big it is compared to the five watt laser itself. 1.6 to 1.8, five watt maximum output. You're really not gonna get five watt. You're gonna get maybe two watt, maybe three watt at the most. It says five watt maximum output, which means if you're lucky on the fullest charge of the batteries that come in this, you may get it for you know just a short period of time. But that being said, you know, you're really not gonna get that five watt. This is a continuous 1.6 to 1.8 power output for the wattage. So this is gonna be more consistent. Now, one of the things that I really do like about this, again, is the compact design, the stainless steel case on the outside, and the single push button right there that, you know, works pretty well. Now, one of the things that I really like about this is the fact that this is a 450 nanometer beam. So it is a blue beam. That is the one of the things that I really like about these is I love the look of the blue beam, right? Maybe that's the Jedi in me and the Star Wars geek, but you know, a lot of people like the ultraviolet, a lot of people like the red. I personally like the 450 nanometer wave actual beam, which is blue. That is one of the things that I really do like. Now, a lot of people say that depending on the wavelength and depending on the power output is determinative on whether or not it's going to burn stuff. Yes, that is true. One of the things, even though this is a maximum output of five watts that I had an issue with, is popping balloons any further past, I would say like a foot or two feet. One of the things that people don't realize is that I'm not just gonna be able to pop a balloon or something like that across uh, the room. So basically, <laughs> You know, the closer you get to the actual laser diode, right, the hotter it's gonna get just like a flashlight, right? If I have a high powered flashlight or a high output uh, lumen flashlight, if I put my hand right up to it, it's gonna burn. If I move it further and further away, it's not gonna burn. So keep that in mind. One of the things I do like about this is it does have the manual lens adjuster right here. This, if you see right here, it does have a screw tip and it came with basic you know, tips. So if I want to focus it, I have to put a special tip on it that allows me to do it. This is built in automatically. And this wasn't a manual adjuster. It is, hey, um, figure out exactly the most powerful uh, distance after you put this lens on it. So it really wasn't advantageous for people who really do enjoy you know, playing with lasers because you can't dial it in perfectly like you can this. I'm gonna get rid of this for just a second because we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it, let's talk about the, the cons of this. Now, one of the things that I really don't like about this, it does have a pretty big beam divergence, which means that the further and further you get from its focal point, the bigger and bigger the beam is gonna get. So basically, I can have it so it will burn something right here, and I'll show you in just a minute. We'll do some burning tests in just a minute. I can have something right here, and it could burn right here because the focal point's right here, and across the room, it's gonna be a line like this on the wall. Does have pretty big beam divergence. Didn't have an issue with this, but again, shining it into the sky, which you shouldn't do because you can blind pilots and it's against the law, but shining it into the sky or up against the mountain or something like that. Um, you can't really tell about the beam divergence on this. Um, basically for this one, the way that it's kind of set up is you can shine it for, I would say 200 meters and the beam divergence is very small. This though, you have a manual adjuster so you can adjust the beam divergence. If you want it to be more focal out here, then that's just something you're gonna have to play with. Another thing, this thing is power hungry. Now I, told, I showed you before, the batteries inside of it are these 3.7 volt, 14,500 milliamp batteries. These things are not cheap. Going to Batteries Plus, basically what I ended up having to do, I bought two and it cost me $25 for two. Now you can get rechargeable ones, but you're still gonna be paying 30 bucks for some rechargeable batteries. So understand that going in. Again, this thing is only $60 comparative to the $180 one. It's smaller, more compact, you can have more fun with this. This one right here, Again, they don't sell it anymore, but I could basically buy 
three of these, nearly three of these, for the cost of this one. And they have a lot of different lasers on the uh, website that I linked down below. So let's just go ahead and get into some burning tests. Okay, so right now we are in basically the dark and I'm gonna go ahead and light this up so you guys can see sort of what you're dealing with in the dark. Now let's talk about beam divergence real quick because I just mentioned it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shine this to my desk and you can see that the beam right here is extremely small. But as I move it away, you can see that the beam right there is diverging into a larger beam. Now I can manually focus this beam because as a manual focus and I can make it the focal point closer, I can make it further away. Again, the closer it is, the better it's gonna do burning. Right now I have it focused at about, I don't know, five inches, maybe four inches, and that's where we're gonna keep it because that's where most people, between that and three inches away are where most people are actually going to uh, do any type of burning. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Well, first, let me show you the beam of this one, and then I'll show you what the five watt looks like right next to it. So definitely a lot brighter, but this one is still pretty cool for being only 60 bucks and offering the ability to burn. First, let's do some matches. Okay, like I said before, understand that the closer you wanna get to the focal point, uh, the more energy that you, or the closer you get to the diode, the more energy or the, the hotter the beam's gonna be. Again, we're about four, four, about four and a half inches away, five, five inches away. And it's not gonna burn as well as if it was three, but this is where we're gonna do it, the test. Also, I gotta make sure that that's exactly where. There it goes. Okay, so it did take a few seconds. Uh, understand that I could have that time um, if I make it a little closer. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that right now. There we go. So, and you can see that it was much more immediate the closer it is to the actual beam itself. Here's a balloon blown up a little bit bigger. That other one was kind of a letdown. There, boom. Pops, no big deal at all. Again, I do have the beam focused a little closer. Let's go ahead and focus it again. Like I was saying before, you can see the beam divergence. I'm just twisting. So you can see right there that you can manually adjust the beam. That's one of the things I really do like about this laser. Honestly, I think for $60, you're hard pressed to find something that's gonna offer this much capability for what it has. Very surprised, very impressed with it. Now, what do you guys think about this little guy. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I really love doing these type of reviews. I love gadgets and gizmos. This is all things random, mostly watches with some random stuff sprinkled in. Honestly, I got a lot of feedback and a lot of views from this bad boy right here. And this is unobtainable now. You can't find it anywhere and a lot of people are asking and you just can't. But this is far more obtainable. This is far more cheaper. Again, you can get three of these and they do have way their options are a lot online they have a lot of options if you just check out the website down below i'm not an affiliate so i don't get anything out of it other than the fact that i get to review this pretty cool laser that just fits in my pocket and i can take it anywhere now what do you guys think if you like videos and videos like this hit that subscribe button down below leave a comment on the content you guys would like to see on this channel i have my first g-shock review in just a few days so make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell so you can be notified when i drop those videos until next time